Welcome to this demo of CyberQP. In this video, we will walk you through two powerful modules, QDesk for end user access management and QGuard for privileged access management. Let's start with QGuard, our solution for privileged access management. QGuard is your centralized hub for managing privileged accounts, credentials, and technician access. This can help you achieve zero standing privileges. Let's walk through its core features. First, you can set up automatic discovery of privileged accounts across all your systems. Here, I can define automatic import for on-prem Active Directory, Microsoft 365, or any local admin accounts on Windows machines. Once defined, CyberQP will automatically import these accounts, and I can also choose to get email alerts for any new privileged accounts that are detected across these systems. This not only gives you an inventory of privileged accounts, but also allows you to set up automatic rotation schedule for these accounts. Here, I have set up seven day rotation schedule for my admin accounts, and a strong password is assigned to these accounts on each rotation. This password can be stored in CyberQP's built-in technician vault or external systems like ITGlue and Hoodoo. This significantly reduces the risk of credential thefts and saves valuable time, especially when a technician leaves and you no longer need to manually update your credentials across various systems. Another important feature of QGuard is just-in-time privileged accounts. These accounts give temporary time-bound privileged access to technicians only when they need it. Once the task is complete, the JIT account is automatically disabled, the password is rotated, and any elevated privileges are removed. Let's start by looking at how an admin sets up JIT access for their team. From the CyberQP dashboard, admins can create just-in-time access policies. These policies can be created for on-prem AD, Microsoft 365, and local admin accounts on Windows machines. Within each policy, admin can define the technicians via the technician groups. They can select how long they can have just-in-time just access for. And finally, what security groups are allowed for each technician. These JIT policies give admin full control over who can access what for how long and under what conditions. Now let's see how a technician would use a JIT account. From the CyberQP dashboard or the Windows desktop app or the QTech mobile app, a technician can easily activate a JIT account. They simply select what directory they want access for. Next, they choose the policies that are available to them. The policies configure how long they can have JIT access for and what privileges would be assigned. They also need to provide a reason, which is saved in the events for reference. And within seconds, they are granted the necessary credentials to perform the task. The experience is fast, secure, and seamless. Once their session ends, the account is disabled, its password is rotated, and the privileges are removed automatically. Every action is logged and you can see uh, the necessary details related to each event. JIT accounts provide the perfect balance between security and productivity. Admin maintains strict control over privileged access while technician gets the tool they need. Next, let's talk about QDesk. QDesk helps IT teams manage end user access efficiently and securely. It allows you to elevate end user privileges verify identities, and manage end-user accounts all in one place. Let's look at end-user elevation first. Here, I am logged in as a standard end-user into a workstation. And if the us this user tries to run an application, they are blocked because they do not have local admin rights. CyberQP intercepts this UAC prompt and allows an easy way for this user to request elevation. End user can submit a request. And now if I go back to the dashboard, this request shows up on the dashboard for review and approval. The technician can open this request and see the program details before approving this request. Here I have a couple of options. I can use process elevation 
which will only approve this one process for one-time use within the next 40 48 hours. I also have an option to give broader local admin rights to this user for select duration. The third option I have here is to create a rule and what this would do is automatically approve any future requests that match these conditions. Here, I am going to approve this request for one-time use under process elevation. Now, if I go back to the workstation, the end user receives a notification telling them that the request has been approved and they can go ahead and run the application. And now if I try to run this application, it's validated against CyberQP and I am allowed to run because I got an approval. Once this has been used once, the access is revoked and the end user will need to submit a new request. So with end user elevation, there are no more always on admin accounts and end users get just the access they need when they need it. Next, let's talk about identity verification. When a user calls the help desk, how do you really know it's them? Let me show you how you can use QDesk to verify end user identities quickly and securely. On the CyberQP dashboard, you can navigate to the end user accounts and here you get an option to verify the user identity. You can send them a code to their registered phone number or their email. You can also send them a push notification to the Microsoft Authenticator or CyberQP self-serve app to verify their identity. Here I'm going to send them a code to their registered email. Next, the technician can ask the end user for the code that they received and they can input the code here to verify the identity. If the end user provided a correct code, the verification would succeed and from here, the technician can go ahead and provide the service to the end user. QDesk also simplifies everyday account management tasks all from a single screen. With just a few clicks, the technician can reset the password, unlock accounts, enable or disable users, and view password expiration status in real time. Whether the account lives in Active Directory, Microsoft 365, or local Windows machine, CyberQP gives you centralized control. And with deep integrations with the PSA, all of this can happen within the ticket without over-provisioning admin access to your team. It's fast, secure, and eliminates the need to remote into environments for every little task.